We've been talking this week about just falling in love with God and what it means to not be a minimalist, but rather a maximalist, somebody who is all in, somebody who isn't just lukewarm or going through the motions. And let's be honest, sometimes as Catholics, we can just kind of start going through the motions. You know, halfway through the rosary, we're just saying words or halfway through mass, our attention is so wandered off. Um, we've forgotten anything from the homily or the gospel that happens to all of us. But in those moments, the Lord really wants to rivet our attention back to the essential basic reality of his presence, his life, and his love in our lives. St. Paul grasped that fundamental truth profoundly when he had this vision of Christ on the road to Damascus. So here's this man, Saul, this very zealous Pharisee, this man who's living under the law and doing everything perfectly and persecuting Christians because he thinks that they're messing it all up, has this profound experience of Christ and Christ's love for him. And it completely breaks him out of his former categories. So he would say in his writings, he moved from law to grace. He moved from thinking that somehow he could um, perhaps earn God's love and favor by fulfilling the law perfectly to realizing that no, the first step is God loving him and him responding in Christ. So again, we can ask ourselves the question, are we living under the law or are we living under grace? When we live under grace, mass goes from being this heavy obligation to being this delightful encounter with God. Prayer goes from being something that I suppose I have to do to being this reality, this mystery, this experience that, that we crave because we know that it's in our relationship with God that we will be fed. When we live the life of sacrifice, we stop resenting um, the obligations and demands and requests that people put on us, but instead we see them as opportunities for us to, to love and to grow and to serve. So like Jesus, we wash each other's feet. Like Mary, we anoint the feet of Jesus. Living a life of sacrifice uh, becomes the way of I'm fully becoming ourselves. By dying to self, we rise. By being the least, we become the greatest. By coming in last, we end up winning uh, the prize of eternal life.